I'm back. Um, sorry, I just changed to. <laughs> I'm going to get ready to go out. I have my niece's birthday party today, so I have to go finish present shopping. And the baby's still sleeping, so I decided just to let my hair dry naturally until she wakes up, and then I'll blow dry it and straighten it. So I figured what I would do is a couple more videos because I have nothing better to do. So, uh, face routine. I just started using this, which is the Avino Active Naturals Clear Compact Foam or Foaming Cleanser. And it's for clear, even looking skin, helps prevent breakouts with moisture rich soy abstracts, extracts, oil free, non comedon. non comedogenic soap free hypoallergenic this foaming cleanser helps improve skin tone and texture and clears up blemishes without over drying leaves skin soft smooth and even looking this mild formula won't clog pores and is gentle enough for sensitive skin it's made by Johnson & Johnson okay so so far I like it it's foaming so you squeeze it two times and it foams out on your hand you can wash your face I used to use Proactive, and I used to use Mary Kay's line of stuff. For some reason, I just didn't care for it anymore. Well, I didn't like, okay, let me rephrase that. I didn't like the wash for Mary Kay, because it was like a liquid. Not liquid, but it was like a cream. And I just felt like it didn't wash my face good enough. That was me. Then I used their blemishing thing. And their acne thing. And I thought it worked okay, but then I didn't like their moisturizer because it was really liquidy. So I switched to this moisturizer, which was the Aveeno Positively Radiant with SPF 15, clinically proven to even out skin tone and texture. This It's like suntan lotion. Thick, creamy. Feels like it works. Where? Let me get the other one. This is Mary Kay's Time Wise Anti Fighting Aging Whatever Crap. But it's really like. I don't know, like, if you can see that. Let me, I don't know. Let me I can turn this off. Okay. You see it right here? See how, like, loose it is? It's like, I don't know, it's watery. I don't like it. It doesn't feel like good on me, on my skin. Oh, it's freaking hot. Okay, I was washing my face with the St. Ives apricot scrub, and I love this stuff too. So if you do this, because this is a scrub, you should probably do it a couple days a week, and then use this also. And then at nighttime, I use the Pazzoli Radiant Anti-Wrinkle Cream, which looks like this. And this is after cleansing, smooth over face and neck for best results, apply nightly. This is also having um, to even out skin tones and to freshen your, clear your face up. So yeah, this is the three I use now. I like this stuff. I don't know, I like it. <laughs> so if you guys have any questions about anything, like about the Mary Kay or whatever, or if you guys have something that you want me to try that you've liked personally like I didn't mind proactive the only problem with proactive is I got too busy to use it all the time and you're supposed to use it all the time and I didn't so at least with this like if I wash my face with this it's two seconds I'm not having to wash my face wait a couple minutes put the toner on wait a couple minutes put the thing on wait a couple minutes and then go to bed it's like no I could just wash my face with this you know if I don't get this no big deal if I get this, great. I could go to bed right after. So, this one right here. 
curly, curly, curly. Yeah. So anyways, let me know. Subscribe. Whatever. Thanks. Um, I'll see you guys later.